God makes no mistakes. That's in the context of this young person, aged 48, who nearly to the day died 30 years ago, 4th of August 1994. People do protest at death. It shouldn't happen. And yet the truth is that our Creator has a little more experience than we do in governing the universe. And it may be that He takes the soul at the best time when He sees the future. What is certainly true is that we know not the moral or its shape, and that we have no rights over it. We have life only on loan. And each day is a bonus. Those who lived here centuries ago and built this holy place knew the importance of the day and they stamped the day with prayer. The bell would call and recall back to base back to base, and time was hallowed moment by moment, and there was silence in the moments in between the moments. Alas, what do we have? Our moments are cluttered and heavy, foggy and noisy. In the early 90s, it hit me one day when I went down to the kitchen area at Kilnacrot and the cook was not there at the moment but had left the transistor on and it hit me how it changed the atmosphere and took away the voice of God and so I had the courage just to switch it off and there was a huge alteration of the atmosphere and the voice of God once again could be heard in the day. And so I went back to my cell and quietly wrote these words. I turned a switch today which moved the world away from here and hither brought the sound of darkness and at one jerk earth was hurled into a distant orbit for I found a space wherein to send a thought my own unguided by another from afar and to be on this planet once alone beyond the field of some obtruding star. Oh, fog of many sounds that clogs the air we breathe with wheezing soul. What means the need that some have to do all but stand and stare into the void and for a moment heed the echoes 
of the depths that are too shy with all the powers of this small switch to vine.